What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day because I'm having an even amazinger one. That wasn't even grammatically correct, but that's okay. I love seeing stupid people do stupid things. I think it is one of the funniest things in the world to see someone absolutely mess up their entire lives. Now, I only say this because most of the time, I want to say 99.9999999% uh, of the time, they ruin their lives doing something stupid that could have very easily been avoided. And in this case, uh, this one could have been avoided by um by a little bit of Googling, by a little bit bit of binging by a little bit of uh, exploring. If you guys have been living under a rock, which I'm assuming you have been, this new viral Chase Bank glitch, quote unquote, recently came into light because uh, people have been uh, um, abusing this uh, glitch, even though it wasn't a fucking glitch. It was uh, literally just like how banking works. This system has been around for as long as I could remember. I remember cashing my first check after I got my uh, first check from my uh, first job when I was fucking 15. And when I cashed it, they literally told me, hey, don't use it until the like funds have settled because otherwise, if it doesn't go through all the way, then it might uh, mess up something in your bank account. So be a little careful. And I looked at the teller and I said, cool. And it took about, uh, I think, like a day for it to like settle fully in my account because if you guys don't know how banking works, um, it takes some time for uh, checks and stuff like that to settle in your account. If you guys have ever deposited a check on your phone through the uh, Chase Bank app, then you definitely know this because it has a limit of $500. And then anything after that, it takes about a day or two to release the rest of the funds so that they can like uh, fucking verify. I can't even fucking speak! So that they can verify the money going into your account so you don't run into any issues. Now, I'm sure there's some other legal jargon that I don't know about where it's like, oh, the government needs you to do this for a day or whatever. I don't fucking know. I'm not a banker. But I feel like if you ever had a job where you need to set up direct deposit and you have to go in person to deposit the check so that the routing number is correct, um, then you've definitely ran into this issue. So I don't know why people are surprised that this glitch was not actually a fucking glitch and it's actually just how banks work. Basically, what was happening was people were depositing checks and realizing that they could use the money before the checks even like fully deposited and settled into your account. So people started depositing fake checks with fake amounts of money. Some people were even taking out large loans, and I'm assuming the interest on these were quite high. But that's besides the point. People were depositing fake checks with fucking tens of thousands of dollars on their checks and putting it into an ATM and getting money into their account and withdrawing all the money before it could like realize that there was an issue. Any person with about like a two IQ could probably realize how this is fucking stupid. Let's just say, let's just say real quick, all right? Every Everybody, everyone put on your fucking thinking caps. Let's just say you're a bank teller, right? You're a middleman from the bank to the person, right? Someone comes up to you and is like, hey, here's $40,000 in a check. And you gladly take it like, mm, yeah, $40,000. This is cool. Congrats. Congratulations. I'm not going to ask how you got this money because that's the bank's job. They're going to do it. But I'm going to take this check, right? I'm going to give it to the fucking bank. And the bank is going to verify, hey, this person is real. This routing number is real. This amount is real. Here's your money. And that's usually when you get your money into your account. What this glitch essentially was skipping was the fucking middleman. They were skipping the bank person. They were just going from the person to the bank. So instead of having that middleman of, hey, I'm going to check to make sure this is like verified, it just went straight to the bank. And of course, when people saw, ooh, $50,000 in my account, they fucking took all that shit out. Now, the issue is when these deposits kind of got realized, like, hey, this is fucking fake. They took the money away. But by that time, the money was already out of the account. So now people are like negative $50,000 in their fucking bank account. Some people had holds on their account and some people's bank accounts actually got frozen. Now, I don't know if people have the memory of a fucking goldfish, but the same exact thing a few months ago happened to Cash App. And you want to know what happened? Basically the same exact fucking thing. People were withdrawing money that they didn't fucking have. I feel like you gotta be the world's stupidest fucking person to fall for one of these. If I saw a million dollars randomly enter my account, I would definitely be like, Mm, that's a little weird. And I wouldn't fucking touch the money until I could verify where the fuck it came from. But I guess some people just saw the money and like took it. I, I don't know. I, I feel like you gotta be a fucking moron to do that. Regardless of if you did it on purpose or if you did it on accident, whether it was Cash App or Chase Bank, one of the most certain aspects of life is that the bank will always know how much money you have. The government will always know how much money you have. Now, obviously the system might glitch and say you have a million dollars, but the bank knows you don't have a million fucking dollars. You're unemployed, living in your mom's house, and you just bought a G-Wagon. If I was a government fucking official, no, 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 if I was the IRS, and I saw a 19-year-old unemployed kid living in his mom's house buy a fucking G-Wagon, I would kind of look at that and be like, 
and when it didn't look right and immediately find out what the fucking issue was. Once again, I think this is fucking hilarious. It's always super astonishing how people will just never learn from the past. This literally happened a few months ago with Cash App and people went bankrupt. They literally lost so much fucking money because once again, the banks know. The banks know how much money you have. And a few months later, same thing happens with Chase Bank, one of the biggest Actually, I think the biggest bank in America and people were still fucking with them. If there's one thing on this fucking planet that I wouldn't fuck with, it's Chase Bank. Moral of the story, if a million dollars enters your fucking account, I wouldn't touch it for a good few days. And if you're doing it on purpose, well, you just committed financial fraud. And if that's the case, enjoy prison.